Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for returning to the channel for your weekly dose of geography. Um, I thought it would be fun, partly because I'm swamped with editing and I need a video that, <laughs> that will be quick to edit, but I genuinely did think it would be fun and interesting to go back to the old days and have a go at the old world map, the default world map um, that GeoGuessr made themselves right at the beginning. Uh, it's the one that I got my famous 35 minute, at the time I believe record breaking time on, um, about six years ago. Um, but it's a, a map that f quickly fell out of favour because it's just very heavy on you know, Brazil, Russia, United States, etc. Since then, people people have branched out to things like Diverse World, etc. But I thought, why not have a go at this? See what score I can get with a, with a sort of three minute per round timer, um, which is the kind of thing I used to do years ago. And you guys play along and see how you compare to my score. Just see where we're all at. Yeah? I think it'll be interesting. Um, an interesting little experiment. Don't know how it's going to go, but let's make the challenge. Got the timer on. We'll be able to move around. There's not going to be a perfect score, believe me. That would be a miracle. Um, there's going to be... It's going to be just a case of guessing, really, on a couple of them if we're in remote areas. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Here we are. First one, and that's Britain. Straight away, you can see the registration plate. It's Britain, so let's really try here. Let's... Ah, oh, Chelmsford? Can we read that? Chelmsford, Chesterfield. Haven't really got time to stop and really try and read that. If there's a bin that's really close, then we can do it. It feels... Parkinson. Feels like it. we could be near the sea. I don't know why. Uh, Brooks, Parkinson. Come on, we can do this. We have time. I have been playing a bit of UK recently to get my position back on the leaderboard. Essex. So that would be Chelmsford then. Crematorium. Uh, I'm not going to go back. I'm going to keep going down the road because we need, we need to find signs. What's this? That could be good. Crompton. No, Crompton and Co. Not good enough. It's very tempting to read some of these signs. Essex County Council. Again, not great. Chelmsford. Chelmsford, Crompton Street. I'm going to gamble and say that we are in Chelmsford because a minute and a half on the map isn't, isn't a fat lot. So Crompton, it's a big place. Great Baddo. And we... Ah, yes, Rittle. We've got it, guys. We've got it. Right, I'm going to go back. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of fucking time, mate. Plenty of time. There's the England flag flying. It's coming home. No, I'm sorry, but it is. No, it's really not. Um, so that puts us... Ah! Oh. I'm going to have to rejog my memory of these... Street names, I'm sorry. Rooks. This is the roundabout, isn't it? So, yeah, Rooks. So we will be about there. Where's Amberloo Candles? Amber? I, th I think she's down the road. She's delivering candles. Um, I think that'll be it. That little gap there. Oh, look at that. Two yards with 30 seconds to spare. Now, I said a perfect score wasn't on the cards. Are we recording? We are. Don't know if you are, but I am. Um, it's now all of a sudden a lot more likely. Let's try it. This would be a first for me. And this doesn't look beyond the realm of possibility. Can you imagine? Okay. So we're heading north. We've got this sign here. Sepsi. Oh my God. What is that then? Got to be Hungary, hasn't it? 
No, it's Romania. BT leasing. Right, if we can get a welcome to sign here. What's good is because I've played so much, you know, 10 seconds per round, no moving scrolling, zoom in and, uh, you know, battles with people. I've got a good idea straight away where we might be. That just seems really Hungarian there. Svantu Zsuzs. That could mean, yeah, we've got to be near the border. Svantu Zsuzs. Got to be, haven't we? Don't think that necessarily means we're going to find it though. Capital of cultural culture. I don't quite know what to do. It's fun to... What is that? Oh, that's the place. Kaseni Zotior. I've just got a search on here, guys. Kaseni... Koseni. I don't know if I'm making the right decision here. But it's, it's a bit of a gamble. I don't know how far the Romanian comes in, if you know what I mean. It could come in quite far. Ethnically, there are a lot of... Sorry, the Hungarian, I mean. It's been a while since I've rambled and searched at the same time. Koseni Sotior. Is that actually the place? Um, I think I've buggered this up. I should have, it's too late now. I should have searched for more road names and whatnot. A road name, a road number. Let's just quickly look around. Oh, there are hills, there are hills. I've gone there. Oh my God, look how far that goes in. And it's a big place. I don't believe that. Svantu George Kaseni. Oh shit. I touched on it, didn't I? I said the Hungarians ethnically, because I, I know a girl, knew a girl, who was, she said she was, she called herself Hungarian, but you know, she was from Brasov. So yeah, that makes sense. There must be a good pocket of, because that was definitely Hungarian language. So some of you will have got that. Some of you will have literally, yeah, you will have got that. That's not a hard round. Damn. That is a missed opportunity. But we, we soldier on. That is disappointing. At least we got the country, but it wasn't hard. Right. Concentrate. Focus. Focus on the next round, Tom. Fayas Colombianas. Richie St. Pasadena, Texas. Pasadena, Texas. Is that where we are then? Do I go in and search for that? It does feel like we could easily be in Texas. But where's Pasadena? That's got to be. It hasn't got to be, but I would have thought it was, or it is, it still is, down this way. Pasadena, like towards towards the border. What's that called? Just Brownsville? Where's Pasadena? That better I better not have got that wrong. What about up here? El Paso. Pasadena. El Paso. Uh we're doing it again, aren't we? Well I am. <laughs> you probably aren't. Pasadena, Pasadena, Texas. I mean, if we can get, yeah, Pasadena, historic Pasadena. If there was any sort of, I can give myself 45 seconds to search for, should I be on the map? I haven't done this in so long, it's hard to know whether I should be on the map or, Looking for sign 
posts to the next town. Pasadena. Historic. I'm going in, man. I think going in is the right way to go. Let's try it up here first. Uh, okay. Pasadena. Wacko. They call me the Wacko Kid. Do I have to talk while I search? I think I do to an extent. But I'm just going to say a lot of words. Just random words. Just to keep you amused while I search with every fiber in my body for Pasadena. But it just ain't rearing its head. Surely it's. I've got to put the marker down somewhere. Amarillo, Pasadena. No. I have not found it, and it's in Houston. Ah, oh, historic Pasadena. Well, I, I was never going to find that. It's a suburb of Houston. Houston. And we do indeed have a problem. No, it's not funny. It's not funny for me. It's, it'll be funny for most of you who have almost undoubtedly beaten me on that round uh, if you saw the Texas sign. Some of you won't have, which is fine. Uh, but this is the point of this. This is my first game. And we've just seen how I do. It's very raw. So moving on. We've got nothing to compare it to this time. Um, a few weeks ago, I, I played... I actually played against 2016 GeoWizard. But it's not like that. But it's... It'd be interesting to see what score I do end up on. This could be okay. Smart water. Uh, I never have enough time to search for these roads. N11, we can do this. This is South Africa. You can tell by the yellow and the white in the middle and this distinctive green sign with the yellow uh, road names. I never have time to explain those things these days either. Um, the 11, here we go. We're over this side. So we found the N11. We now want to look for the 572, although I'm always tempted to have a quick look for these place names. Couldn't see them. Uh, I found Grobler's Dahl. No Grobler's Bridge. This is all distracting. So 573 we've got. Bet you I don't find it. I bet you any money. Ah, no, I found it. We didn't shake on it. 572. N11 straight on. Keeping one eye on the tie, time. Grobler's Brug. Ah, Brug means bridge, doesn't it? Surely. So we might be able to get this spot on. Can't see beauty. We can see Lep Lepalale. So yeah, this is the junction without a shadow. Okay, maybe, maybe there's a few shadows. Some terrible jokes going on here today, but I don't know what else to, to say really. Other than that is correct. And we are, let's try and get this right. Ooh, that's, so we're actually there then. 31 yards will will do it for us. And this is the... Oh, this is the last round. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. We're going to try and end on a high here. And Maplewood, as predicted, it's USA heavy. What did I tell you at the start? This is definitely USA. Didn't have Russia, thank God. Um, and... But we did have South Africa, which is fairly common. And the UK, which is relatively common too. Basically, the more roads there are in a country, the more likely it is to crop up. So I'm thinking that this is the USA. But 
not too far south, I don't think. Maybe... I don't want to say just yet. I'm thinking maybe New York. I could be totally wrong. There's a lot of pine trees. Brookhaven. It's not going to give us anything. I was having a good old look there because I don't think I'm going to see a lot else. But you never know. We might get to a main road. But really, I've got to go on feel here. And I don't think we're very far south here at all. I think we're... This could even be Canada, but I should know if it's Canada or not. Judging from... Oh, hang on. That, that'll give it away. 25 miles an hour. So it's America, but it's far north in America. I think. Snowmobile route, right? A minute left. Ellison Bay. Ellison Bay Pottery. Snowmobile route. Now that is seriously far north. So I'm thinking... Okay, do you know what? I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble here. Right, check this out. It's very far north up here. Ellison Bay. Let's see if we can find something. Whitefish Bay. Sturgeon Bay. Green Bay. Uh, no, I think it's very unlikely we'll find an Ellison. We've got 19 seconds left to do it as well. What about up here? It's Minnesota, Wisconsin. We haven't found Ellison, that's gutting. And we've got seven seconds left. But yeah, I am going to leave that. I'm going to go there. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Should have left it where it was. That would have been... Not insane, but a very good guess because I was over here somewhere. But look at that, Ellison Bay. You w some of who saw that? Could you see that? As I zoomed over this area of Green Bay. But yeah, that's that's actually not Michigan. That's Wisconsin. Yeah, very cold regions. Um, and that guys is the game that's it that's 21733 i do, as i say i don't know how good or bad that is i actually think that's not amazing because actually a perfect score was possible there thinking about it it really was wasn't it because that one was definitely possible the texas one was without a shadow of a doubt that one was because that one's hard, but, but, you know, if you found Ellison Bay, wow, that's, I don't think the odds, I mean, you tell me, I don't think the odds are very high of getting a game like that. Because if you think about my record-breaking game, uh, I keep saying record-breaking game, that was, at the time, I don't think anyone had a faster time, but that's just on YouTube. Someone probably did. But that took me 35 minutes. If I'd have done that, that I mean that's I think that that could have been done in 10 minutes that game so I think that paints a picture of just how um, lucky that seed was so please let me know how you did on that did you get a perfect score and talk me through how you did it you know don't just lie because um, I do think that was possible I really do and that's it let me know what you thought of today's vid, guys. Sorry it's not something more uh, intense or impressive, but I enjoyed that. It was good to get back to my roots, I would say. Tune in soon for a trickier Geo Detective, and I'll see you there. Cheers again.